I'm, uh, whew, it's, uh, it's a very different day today. Look at the, the, um, wrong way, Neil. Look at the weather. It's like a atmosphere, heavy atmosphere. Uh, the sun is hiding behind the clouds. Anyway, I'm at a, uh, another castle that I haven't been to for 20 years. Um, this is the, uh, Castle Puive, which most people will remember or know because it was used for the movie The Ninth Gate, starring Johnny Depp. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, on this trip, nothing's changed. I mean, I kept saying before that, I think, you know, we change, of course we do, but vegetation changes. The castle's not going to change much, is it? <laughs> Let's face it. Um, but, yeah, this was, this, at the height of the Cathar period, this castle was one of the most... Um, celebrated ones. This was the castle that uh, was the home of the troubadour, the musicians and the gentry and all the rest of it. But it's uh, obviously it's a uh, it's nothing like the other places I've been to so far. The fortresses, they, they were they were what they were. They were fortresses. They um, they were strongholds. They were places where you know the the military would keep a keep a watch. They were places for the knights, the knights, the knights Templar, you know, and so on and so on. I mean, you know, the history is immense, really. But uh, yeah, this place wasn't well. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. It's um, it was more of a a celebration of the heart of the Cathar tradition, the Occitan tradition. Again, the flags up there. It's wrapped round a, a post. Um, spinning around and around here we go yeah so uh, I'm gonna have a good look round and, um, and I'll come back to you but it's amazing to be here and unlike all the other days there is nobody here well as far as I know oh I talk and there is somebody there a couple anyway okay I'm gonna go and I'll come back to you I'm inside the um, <clears throat> the court now uh, we're, we're high up. Um, I'll take you to the window in a second and show you. This is the um, this is the place where the troubadours would perform. I feel like a bit of a troubadour today, um, but I'm not going to perform. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, if you can see, I don't know whether you can see up there um, the sculptures, the one behind me above my head of the um, musicians. I'll insert some photographs for you. And this music that's playing in the background is typical of that, that period, that culture, and the instruments, and the, and I can't stress enough that this part of the uh, world, this part of France, around the 11th century, was a totally different place to the rest of France, to the north. It was massively influenced by, um, <clears throat> by the Spanish, like I said in one of the other videos, and it was massively influenced by its own unique culture, the Occitan culture. And you can see why this place was special. It was unfettered, it was untouched. Well, it was untouched until the, uh, the armies got here, of course. Um, this was a, a place where the artists and musicians would come to celebrate. And there's other history, which I'll come back to, but uh, it's absolutely wonderful in here. So, yeah, um, one thing I noticed when I was um, here before was the uh, expressions on the faces of the musicians in the sculptures. You can't see it in the drawings so much, but they have this sense of um, elation about them, this heightened state. I don't know whether it was the artist intent or whether it was more than that, but the eyes and the, the face is alive, um, alive with the, you know, with the spirit of the place and the music. So uh, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures. I'll, I'll insert them. But yeah, this is a really, really beautiful place. And as I said before, I got up here. This this was the place that the, well, not this part, this room that I'm in now, but this is the the place they used for the filming of the Johnny Depp film, The Ninth Gate which is a completely different um, subject matter, which I'll come back to. Okay, bye.